So today is a cool day because I have snake eggs. So I have Guerrero Rubidus, these uh, Drymarcon snakes. Um, this female, I had her with a male the entire time that I was on vacation. And when I came home, I felt large follicles in development. She shed on February 28th and today is March 24th. She has finally laid her eggs. The eggs look good. Um, one, two, three, four, looks like seven. She looks exhausted, poor thing. So I already have an egg box already set up here. So I am going to be getting these guys all set up. Where should I put this? I'll put it right here. And these eggs never tend to uh, bind to one another. So there's usually no issues with having to keep keep eggs together in like a mass or whatever because they very rarely they're not like normal eggs they have a very strange texture but all the eggs are shaped right they, nothing looks funny the colors aren't off so hopefully these eggs are good this one's extra long I'll put that one at the end since it's an odd number and the last egg is here. So hopefully these eggs are legit. This is this female's very first time. So fingers crossed that uh, that, that turns out all right. All right, wish us luck. Uh, we'll check back with you in uh, two and a half months roughly and hopefully I'll be showing you guys some babies. I have one more female that also uh, looks like she's gonna be also going for me and she's running about four weeks or so behind this one. So we will see, hopefully we have a decent year with the Rubidus. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. And big surprise, we produced more snakes. But this one is a little bit different. For one, this particular subspecies I have never produced before. And as you saw in the title, I think this is pretty much our last US captive bred uh, production, probably ever. So it's kind of weird, it kind of feels really strange having to say that, um, but uh, there's a lot more ahead, so I'm not even tripping out. So you saw the video that was from March 24th, and that was me collecting the eggs. There were seven eggs from that female uh, Mexican indigo, the Rubidus. And I'm going to show you dad, I'm going to show you the babies, and there's one straggler yet that hadn't left the egg. It's left the egg now, probably in the last 20 minutes, and I haven't seen it yet, so we're going to see it together for the first time. So let me show you dad. These guys are all pretty chill. I know I've seen some people talking about how mean theirs are, but mine are all pretty cool. This is a big dude. He doesn't like to be in this bag. Let's see if I can get him to chill. And there he is right there. So this is dad, he's a big bruiser but he's, he's pretty mellow. I don't hold him at all. I just, like I'm always saying, I just kind of leave them up to do their own thing because my snakes are breeders. They're not really pets for me. They're not something that I'm gonna put on my lap while I watch TV or anything, like I ever have time to watch TV. But anyway, um, so this is the big boy. And pretty impressive animal. Nice amount of red, just like the female. I love these big colubrids, you guys. Mexican Rubidus. So I'm going to try to wrestle him back into his bag, because I know you guys want to see the babies just as much as I do. Ooh, that was smooth. Almost like I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> so let's take a look at the babies that have hatched. They are amazing looking. They blew away my expectations. 
So they are going to erupt out of this box, but I'm going to do my best to wrangle them. And here they are, you guys. Wonderful model pattern, almost blue speckling. They all have different degrees of kind of a yellow, orange, red ventral side. I anticipate those colors to intensify as they grow. They're all just a little bit different. I haven't sexed any of these yet. I'm leaning towards keeping one pair for myself just because it's the first time that I bred these guys. And I'm pretty proud of myself. This was, this was quite cool. The last US captive breeding for DM Exotics here in this country. And it was with these guys. And this is pretty, pretty special for me. So they're all really kind of chill too. There's no defensive defensiveness with any of these. They're just really calm animals. The adults are a little spunky, but they're not biters. They're not really defensive. Occasionally I will get a musk and it smells absolutely horrible. But if I can sort of contain these two, I want you to pull out these other two in this corner here because they're all a little bit different. But look at that. That's amazing looking little baby. So as far as pricing goes, these these Mexican Rubidus, the Southern Guerrero animals with the red, the high red animals, these are pretty much on the top of the price spectrum for indigo snakes, for Drymarcon in general. I incubated these, I think they started pipping on day 80, exactly on day 80. Took them about three days or so to leave the eggs. So all the animals are roughly the same size. There's no runts in the litter. There are no imperfections. Um, these guys are just perfect. And now I wanna see the last baby because that's something that I have not seen yet. So let's check it out. I incubated these guys on vermiculite. And there you are, little dude. Let's check you out here. There you go. This one actually has nice, very, very nice color to it. But once I throw them in the box, they all kind of look the same. Very, very nice. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at some of the latest happenings here at DM Exotics. And I have one more surprise for you. Something that you probably are not accustomed to seeing me with. So let me go introduce you guys to Elwyn. Let's go outside. Okay, you guys, so this is Elwyn. This is a water monitor that belongs to a friend of mine. He is 12 years old. My friend bought him as a hatchling and he's pretty good size now. I'm just babysitting him for about a week and a half. My friend is moving out of state. So I'm gonna house him here for about, oh, maybe a week and a half or so. And then um, I have to ship him to my buddy. So for anybody that inquires or is thinking about inquiring whether or not he's for sale, He's not for sale. He's my buddy's pet. And that is about it. Thought you guys would get a kick out of that. He is really cool, super healthy, and he's really chill. I have the gloves on because they don't, like an animal like this, which is used to being in captivity, really doesn't show a lot of aggression, but those claws and the strength of these guys, they just rip your skin. I just yesterday moving him into the into the room, you know, I already got some scratches and stuff and I don't really feel like going to work all scratched up looking like I got in a fight, you know, with a cat or something. So I just don't need the questions and I don't need the scratches. 
So I got the gloves just in case, because I am going to have to pick them up and move them back into the room here before too long. So just a temporary visitor with us, good old Elwin. Big and meaty. And he loves to eat. And he likes to poop a lot. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, about a week and a half of um, a little bit high maintenance animal for us. Definitely a lot more than what we're used to with the snakes. All right, you guys, and from Elwin and myself, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our content. And that is about it. Hope you guys enjoy what's left of the rest of your weekend. Take care, you guys.